Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create interactive captions for your interactive PDF, fix layout EPUB and publish online with this feature. If this is your first time visiting and you want to learn best practice techniques to create killer artwork, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. So I'm in my document in here, I'm going to navigate to the page in question which is page 10 in here, it's an article about Curiosity Rover, so I've got some text on the right hand side, I've got a nice satellite image there of Gale Crater where, bless it, the Curiosity Rover is still roaming around here in 2019, along that crater all there on the lonely red rock of Mars. Um, but what I would like to do is show some information then about Gale Crater as well. So. As with all these things, when I'm building an interactive document, I create a dedicated layer for that in the layers panel, and it is up here called interactive. So if I turn on its layer visibility, we see a couple of extra things appear there on screen. So in the upper right hand side of the page in there, there are buttons to go back to the previous page and the next page. If you want to see a technique on that, the link's at the top of the screen on here. And then at the lower left hand side of the page, I have my caption, which is a photograph uh, set in front of a translucent black square and then some text to go along with it and then right at the bottom is a button which is the trigger to show that. So in order to uh, make this work then I have to pick up my zoom tool, zoom in a bit closer so we can see this and I, I don't want this obviously this caption to be covering up Gale Crater image uh, in the background because it's a cracking satellite image. So I want this to be hidden to start off with in order to do that I have to turn it into a button itself. So I'll switch to my selection tool the satellite image in the background is locked away so I can literally click and hold down the mouse and drag across the black box, the text frame and the image and then go up to the object menu at the top of the screen and choose group from the list. So that's now grouped together. Um, I can then go to the window menu, go down the list to interactive and then choose buttons and forms because we have to create three buttons in here. The first of which is going to be this caption. So oddly enough you have to turn your caption into a button to well, get InDesign to realize or recognize that it is an interactive element. So with it selected, I'll click on the drop-down menu in Buttons and Forms and under Type, I'll just click on Button. I'll give this a name and I'll call this Caption, press Return. And then um, what I do want is that I do want this caption to be hidden to start off with because it should only reveal once the user's clicked on the button at the bottom there. So I will turn on the Hidden Until Triggered button in there, or the checkbox, should I say. Um, that now should all be good, so just bear in mind that this is called Caption. If I pick up my Zoom tool and then zoom in closer to the red square that we've got in there, which has got a plus inside, this is going to be our Show button. So if I click on this to make it active and then um, I'll click on the drop-down menu and choose from there Button. And I'm going to call this one Plus. Um, and then with that now named turned into a button, I'm going to go to the action at the bottom there of those uh, drop down menus and then I'm going to choose show hide buttons and forms. So when I click on that, it will then detect on this page and just be, just be perfectly clear about what it will detect, only things that are potentially selectable. It will not detect, for example, any buttons that are on the master page. So those back button and the forward button for the pages that I showed you at the top right hand side of the page, they're stored on a master page. It will not detect those, it will ignore them. So here it tells me that on this particular page I have got a button called or an interactive element called caption and then I have something called plus which is the thing that I've got selected of course, the one with the plus in it. So this is going to show the caption. So from here then it's going to show uh, and what do I need to do? Well when we click on this plus button in here, it will show the caption. So at the moment there are no states defined for the visibility of these two elements. So if I hover over the X and click on that, it will show the caption. We also then ha need to have a second button which is a minus. So we're going to create a copy of this button afterwards. Now what happens is when we click on this button here, we want it to show the caption but we also want it to hide the button as well. So plus is the button, Click on that, that will reveal it, but I'll then want to choose to conceal that once you click on the button itself. Um, if I go down to appearance at the bottom, I'll click on the rollover state and then hover over there, over my group there, which is it's just two lines for the, for the plus in there and a red rectangle in the background. So if I double left click, it'll allow me to go into the group and select just the red rectangle. And then over from my properties panel over here, I'll go to the fill and change that to something like a 
a green in there yep that should be fine nice and clear press the return key on the keyboard to make that pop-up disappear and then I must reset this button back to its default state of normal by left clicking on it in there to reset it back to red in there so it will only turn green when someone hovers over and um, with that done I can then click away to make sure I've got uh, when I click back on it the whole group active hold down the alt key alt click and drag and create a copy just to the side in there I'm gonna name this and I'm gonna call this minus and then what we'll have to do is hover over there double left click to go into the group and then I'll have to click on just the top line in there to make it active delete it click back on the group then go to the rollover state and again even though I've deleted the line in the row in the normal state you have to go back in again to the rollover state double click on that one delete that line as well click back on the object to select it and I've got the whole group active in here and if I click back on normal to reset the view of that button in there so we now have a plus and a minus button now in terms of how this works then with that selected what we want to do is when we click on the minus button at the moment there's no uh, option set for the caption or the plus so I'm going to hover over I'm going to choose to hide the caption this time because the minus button is going to hide the caption and then I need to reveal the plus button because it will have been hidden and then I also need to make sure that I hide the minus button as well so with that done I'll just go back to the plus button and then make sure that in here the minus button wasn't created when I made this one originally so with there's no state defined for that one so now with my plus button selected when I click on the plus button it's going to show the caption it's going to hide itself and then it needs to show the minus button um, and then if I go just make sure yes with the minus button I need to click on hide uh, hidden until triggered as well and I think we're good to go really then I can click and drag and move this back over there um, and then go to the preview which is down at the bottom of the buttons and forms uh, panel in there I get a preview that pops up on screen uh, by default uh, in designing the EPUB interactivity preview will only show you the page you're working on if you want to see things like page jumps and things like that then you'll have to go down to the bottom and choose to load the whole document up but at the moment I'm in single page mode and then we'll need to test it out so if I hover my cursor over yep the rollover works in there so if I hover over left click there we have it the caption pops up on screen and then the plus button hides itself it shows the minus one in there now we've got a slight problem in that that rollover doesn't seem to be working at the moment so I'm gonna hover over click on that and it doesn't seem to be working so a little bit of back and forth if I just close down that preview um, need to make sure that I've got both these buttons visible and selectable if I select these in here let me just go to the interactive options so this will be the problem the caption in my layer in here is at the top so that can cause problems because of course if you think about the area that that caption takes up it goes all the way down and it goes technically in front of even though there's no corner to it in there in the appearance it does go in front so that can cause problems so what I will do is I'm gonna well, you can drag it down here down to the bottom but if I've got my caption selected I'll go to the object menu choose a range and then choose send to back like so and now I've got my plus button and my minus button and they are now in front of the caption so it should fingers crossed work if I move the minus button back in there click away and then go back to the preview I will just click on stop and then press play just to make sure that I reboot the preview in there so hover over that works left click we now know that works and there we go so the minus button has a rollover that works because the buttons are in front of the caption so if you ever find that the rollovers don't work just check the layer order or the the front to back arrangement in there so if I hover now over the minus click on that it disappears so there we have it an interactive caption that you can hover over show and hide at any time and then this can be exported to publish online fixed layout EPUB uh, and, and an interactive PDF also can house this option as well uh, if you've liked the video and you found it of value please give it a thumbs up to help the channel and of course you can always subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any content in the future and until next time farewell folks